YouTube, YouTube, what is going on, man? If you're already subscribed to the channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button, man. The like don't cost you anything to throw on this video, so please show your boy some love. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's right there. Hit the subscribe button, man. Make sure you hit the little notification bell. I think it's on that side, this side, one of them. Make sure you go ahead and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be in the know every time I drop my videos. But anyhow, I told y'all on yesterday that I was going to let y'all know why I chose to be a driver or a least on owner operator over at Landstar. And uh, I've been having a lot of people, as soon as they see the big blue star on the side of the trailer, the star star, the star star, where it all goes down at. And a lot of y'all over there at the pumpkin patch. A lot of y'all at the pumpkin patch. Y'all know what I'm talking about. For the drivers that know what the pumpkin patch is. A lot of y'all over there at the pumpkin patch. And a lot of y'all be talking junk. And I don't like when y'all be talking junk. But I chose Landstar because, you know, from my experiences of working over here, I haven't had any issues. I've always got the help that I needed to get. And they kind of let me run my company how I want to run my company flair the whole flair gang the whole flair nation you know how it goes all that good stuff you know what i'm saying but they let me do the things that i want to do they don't hound me um i could be take off as many days as i want to without having to ask anybody without having to put in no type of paperwork without nobody blowing my phone up saying hey where you at this that and the third you know what i'm saying i get my surf fuel charges and all that stuff placed back on to my car. I literally don't have to do anything except for accept my emails, keep my truck up to par, get my inspections done, do all the things that they ask and require of you to make sure that you're able to run and that you're able to meet FMCSA's regulations. Now, they are big on that, making sure that you're in compliance. So, if you one of those drivers that, you know, you like to be late, you like to oversleep, you like to, you know, just screw off, not get your stuff done and, and get it inspected and and all those type of things, then, hey, this might not be the company for you. You got to have some type of structure, even though they let you run your business the way that you want to run your business, but still, you got to handle business. Nobody wants to do business with somebody that don't want to do business, and they're not going to do your business for you. So, one of the downsides to it is, though, I don't like that if you have an issue or something going on, they won't call you. You will have to either get placed on hold or keep watching your app and see when you have things that's out of compliance or, or you know, things of that nature. And you will have to call them and get everything taken care of that needs to get taken care of. Those are one of the downsides to it. Um, everybody says, well, you know, Landstar, they take 35% uh, of what you make. And I say, well, if you do the math on it and you say, let's just say you got your own authority and you only have one truck, right? If you only have one truck and you got your own authority, all of the fees that you're paying for different variety of things, you know, your factoring company, your insurance, your, 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 your bookkeeper, all of that sort of stuff. By the end of the day, if you got somebody that's handling this stuff for you, your IFTA, your, your, your 2290s, you know what I'm saying? If you got somebody that's handling this stuff for you, making sure that you stay updated and making sure that when it's time, for your, your renewals and all of that stuff to come around, your your, your state licensing laws, liquor laws, uh, uh, all these sort of things. Y'all drivers, y'all know what I'm talking about and what I'm getting at. But you got a lot of drivers, they say, oh, no, that's a huge amount. But then when you break it down and you actually do the math on it, it's really not a whole lot because you're going to wind up spending that or paying that, and then you're going to waste a whole lot of time, you know, trying to pay for load boards and then you got to get on these secondary load boards and third load boards that's done been picked through 
a lot of these places might not have the type of freight that you want. It might not be going in the, in the direction that you want it to go in, you know. So it's a lot of pros, and it's, a, it's also a, a little bit of cons, you know, when it comes to Landstar. It's a lot of pros, though, because it's a very large company, and we're growing. We're steadily growing. And it's not like a glorified company driver. Because that's what a lot of you, a lot of you guys, that's what a lot of you are. Let's just be honest about it. A lot of you guys ain't nothing but glorified company drivers. I mean, you don't have, you still force dispatch. You can't go where you want to go. You can't go home when you want to go home. You're probably at least on paying $2,000 a month for a truck note, $2,500 a month for a truck note. And then you're making pennies on the dollar. Come on, man. It makes no sense to me. So when a lot of you guys see me, man, don't, and you see that blue star on the side of my trailer, don't come up to me, man, asking or telling me that, oh, I should be doing this or I should be doing that. Because as I said in my previous videos, everybody's situation is different. Nobody's situation is the same. This works for me. This works for me. So whatever works for you, let that work for you. Don't try to keep convincing me that I should be doing this or I should be doing that. One guy, he talked my head off. He just was going to make sure that he convinced me that I should be with my own authority. And I'm like, dude. And he started telling me about all the fees and stuff and how much money he was making. He said he was making twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 a month. And But I'm like, dude, what about your fees and stuff and, and your taxes and all that stuff and your fuel and everything like that when all that stuff comes out make it make sense but he couldn't he could not make it make sense so this ain't this video is not for everybody this is for the truck drivers y'all know who y'all are i ain't even gotta explain y'all know who y'all are send this video out to them guys that's always talking junk and saying something about the star star always got something to say about the star star but anyhow, hit me up, www.flattrucking.com. Make sure you hit me on Instagram, at RunawayChild35. Make sure you hit me on Facebook, RunawayChild. And if you got any stuff that you want to send me, any videos, anything that you want me to talk about, whatever, however, you know how we do it over here on the channel, hit me up, RunawayChild35 at gmail.com. Hit me up, man. Let's make it happen. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Thank y'all for all the likes and, and the shares and the ones that's been rocking with your boy from day one. Thank y'all, man. It means a lot to me. Runaway child. And we are 